Hello everyone, Tootsie Forever here, and I'll be honest with y'all, I've never been the biggest fan when it comes to the spooky season, probably because my brothers traumatized me so much as a kid by pulling pranks on me, and I've also hated walking through the aisles of stores and just being scared shitless by those motion-activated Halloween decorations. You guys know which ones I'm talking about. Those things, I don't, I don't, I don't like those things at all. It's also just not as fun as when you get older, as people look at you differently now when you're in a skin-tight My Little Pony costume doing some trick-or-treating. This is, is not okay! I thought it would be a fun time to look back at a classic French Biz Magic episode relating to this spooky time, and that is Season 2, Episode 4, The Luna Eclipsed. If you're wondering why I'm going with this one in particular instead of Scared Master from Season 5, it's because, well... Luna's in this one, and she's awesome! Not only that, this episode also had special merchandise that launched alongside it, such as one of my favorite items, the Toys R Us exclusive Shadow Bolt Dashie. God, she looks so devious. And Pinkie Pie in her chicken outfit, which came in a KFC-style bucket that has significantly gone up in price over the years. The episode starts with Ponyville celebrating the holiday Nightmare Night, a Halloween-inspired holiday with a pony twist. What I love about this episode is that it's not just a Halloween special, they put their own unique spin on the holiday as there's a reason why they dress up, there's a reason why they pass out candy. There's a well thought out reason why they celebrate this holiday and it just gets even better when Luna's in the picture. Everyone is terrified of her and rightfully so, as she is the god of the night that did try to enslave everyone in thousands of years of darkness in the first episode. So, you can bet tensions are just a little bit high whenever she's around. Fun fact, the reason why Princess Luna looks like this instead of her Wuna form from Season 1 is the fact that after the Elements of Harmony ridded her of Nightmare Moon, she was able to recover and go back to her normal state. So this is in fact her original design from a thousand years ago before she got corrupted. Now that Luna is back after being gone for so long, she's having a little hard time adjusting to modern society. Her and I both. She's also a little peeved when she finds out that they made a holiday around her tragic event. Rightfully so. Luna likes Twilight's costume, who's dressed as her old mentor, Star Swirl the Bearded. Oh, it's moments like this that make it hard to watch these old episodes because Star Swirl the Bearded was built up to be this powerful wizard who could do time travel, switch cutie marks, and was overall this legendary wizard. But then when he finally appeared in the show, he was just this useless old man who couldn't really do anything. What? Anyways, Twilight tries to help the princess fit back into society, but all efforts are thwarted as Pinkie Pie ruins everything by being, well, Pinkie Pie. <laughs> Feeling alone and rejected, Luna has a full moon breakdown canceling the holiday and attacks everyone with spiders. The first time seeing this pony get swarmed by spiders is pretty horrifying, actually, as it reminds me of a scene in The Mummy when the scarabs crawled into this one dude's flesh and killed him by eating his flesh from the inside out. I always anticipate nothing less when it comes to a script written by the legendary M.A. Larson. He's consistently been my favorite writer due to his ability to maintain a respectful and thoughtful approach to both his viewers and characters in his stories. I love his approach to world building which is evident with the Halloween concept of seemingly fitting right into the existing world of Equestria. My only one complaint is that uh, every main character makes an appearance or a cameo in the background, except for one, and that is Rarity, who is nowhere to be seen throughout this entire episode. It turns out she did have a sequence where Twilight would have brought Luna to Rarity's boutique in the hopes of making her look more presentable to everyone. This was unfortunately cut very late in the script's development to save time, as her lines were already recorded thanks to the recording dates left in the original script, so we have a rough idea on how this scene would have played out. The only remains of Rarity left in the episode was this one storyboard that involved her in Derpy where she was later replaced by Carrot Top during the animating process. Which is kind of sad because I think Rarity would have really went all out with the whole Nightmare Night outfit. Twilight discovers Luna feeling down and engages in a heartfelt conversation to brainstorm strategies for winning everyone's support. Later on, as a humorous twist, they enlist a Pinkie Pie's help in deciphering why she's been a pain in the f***. Twilight gets the idea to f*** 
fucking traumatize all these kids by channeling Luna's whimsical alter ego to their advantage. I'm sure Luna just loves torturing herself by reliving one of the most traumatic moments of her and Celestia's entire life. I'm sure that won't come back to haunt her later. Foreshadowing for when she created the Tantipus to torture herself. Anywho, it all works out in the end as the townspeople love Luna scaring the crap out of them and finally comes around where she now feels accepted as everyone accepts her as the best princess. Just kidding, Twilight is best princess and everybody knows that. You are the best pony. If you haven't noticed yet, I absolutely adore everything in this episode. It's now one of my main Halloween specials that I watch every year. I don't have any major complaints other than Pinkie Pie being a pain whenever Luna tried doing anything nice. She was just too annoying for my liking. And you can't forget that this was the first appearance of Bat Ponies of French Miss Magic lore with uh, Luna's Royal Guards, which is a nice contrast to Celestia's Royal Guards. If you haven't seen the episode, please be sure to give it a watch. And if you've already seen it, turn it back on. It's the spooky season and there's no better chance to view it. But anywho, I'm Tootsie Forever, and thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you next time.